But let, let's take Douglas Hurd's point, which is, on the one hand, the people of Hong Kong would like Britain to stand up for mm. Hong Kong people's mm. interests. On the other, the people of Hong Kong would like to see a smooth transition. Mm. You yourself mm. put a lot of store on mm. the latter. Mm. There are people in Hong Kong who would like you to do more in the former. And do you, are you satisfied that you have done enough in that area? I think you've got to try always to decide with each issue, how do you handle it? What's the best way for Hong Kong of handling it? The point you just raised is, is, a, is a very good one, I think, because there is a, a, a rather split personality in the minds of many people in Hong Kong. On the one hand, they would like to say, why doesn't somebody stand up? Why doesn't somebody stand up against China? Why doesn't somebody stand up against Britain or against the United States? And then when there's a problem and we hit a crisis, many of the same people will say, why did you get us into this crisis? We shouldn't have been allowed to get into this situation. We must get out of it. So on each issue, you try to decide what's the best way to handle it. 